Chloe from Grain Up Sprout Borders and we're visiting the town of Aro. Bells on their necks. Good morning at a Swiss farm. What so are you? She made her own tress mm -hmm. and she made her own jams, honey. It's really cool. This is honey from the farm. And then they have yummy cheeses, cheese and meat. It's delicious. So we just had a lovely stay here at Bau Ernhof Batswil. <laughs> Batswil I'm probably saying it incorrectly, but that's okay. Um, so here what's really cool is they do things like workaways where people can come and like stay and work for a few months and then they have all these types of programs where you can learn about farm life so it's really cool. And so now today we are going to Argau and that's the canton and we're going to go to the, the city of Aro, that's A-A-R-A-U, Aro. And uh, we're going to go spend the day there visiting castles and we're going to do a super cool tour of a chocolate factory. More sugar for the belly. Even the cats cross the road like this. This is so funny. He knows to use the crosswalk. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to is this beautiful clock tower. But Just look at the, the people on it. They Just look the time and the, I think it's January, February. Actually. But what do you think of the people that are up there? They look like mummies or something, or aliens. <laughs> yeah, they do. So like any old village in Europe, they have these city gates probably would have blocked off people from invading. It's a mountain! It's all oh. decorated! Yeah. He's wearing a top hat. And the dog. And the dog's wearing a hat. <laughs> and he's got flowers. That's funny. You can even drink the water. Yeah? You want to fill up your water bottle? What a pretty fountain. So definitely today's highlight, I think is gonna be the Frey Chocolate Factory. Don't you think? AKA today's lunch. <laughs> Is it gonna be our lunch? Oh no. Girls, are we having chocolate for lunch today? Mm. Yeah, we wanna bring your attention to all these painted areas here. And they all have names actually. Which one actually has a name? It does? Mm -hmm. They're all painted differently? This street yes. shows it really good here. Look at this. Okay, the shutters are the same. See this up here? Really pretty. So these painted eaves up here, they're called Dashimel in German. Let's see. So just a couple of blocks be after the entrance, there is the tourist office, so if you need any information. So we just stopped at this little cafe because it looks like there's a lot of people here and it looks really good. And I just ordered a coffee and I want to show you what comes with it. Coffee with water and then a little chocolate with a cream in it. So yeah, the cream is actually a little chocolate cup. First of all, aro, the way they say it is aro, aro. And the French way is aro, which is easier for me to say. Um, but something they have here is a carrot festival. And so Bern has an onion festival. And, and they thought it would be cool if they made a festival. Yeah. I would always rather go to the carrot festival. You would? Yes. 
You don't like onions so much, but apparently, okay. So I when do. you're when you're here, they have all forms, shapes, of sizes of carrots, and they also have carrot soup, carrot cake, carrot muffins, carrot liqueur, which I didn't even know existed. So everything carrot, and apparently this is like a huge festival that happens every year in November. So if you're here in November, come check it out. So we're all super excited to go to the Freight Chocolate Factory, and one well, one thing we try to do, I was just gonna say, is we try not to have expectations. Because when you have expectations and you think something's gonna be a certain way, then sometimes you get disappointed. But our expectations are really high because the Calle chocolate experience is something else. So when we figured we're in the same country, we're still in Switzerland, so they must have done just as good of a job. But we'll see, right? Do we actually know what free chocolate tastes like, girls? Um, yes, and it's really good. I'm trying to think like, it's yeah. It's the red box. Which one? The squares? I don't know. I don't know. Me either. Food is delicious. Okay, well we'll find oh, out. We'll see. So this town was named after the R River. And the R River is only in Switzerland and it's one of the longest. The river is about 300 kilometers long and it starts in one of the glaciers in the Briens area. So it goes from Interlaken to Thun to Bern. So if you didn't know, Bern is the capital and so from Bern it goes to Biel and then it goes to Solothurn and then after it comes here. And then to finish it off, it ends in the Rhine. neat this house has like a modern feel and that looks like it has a really nice terrace at the top I have no idea why but there is a gas thing to fill up your gas right there that makes no sense oh all right maybe that was this was an old gas station though it's funny so here are, we're gonna go back into the old town from a different way In 1798, this, Aro, was actually the capital of Switzerland, but very short time they moved it to Bernie, so it's no longer here. We're twisting and turning up and down these streets, trying to get back into the old town, which technically we are in the old town, but we're trying to get like up. Again, in Switzerland, you're going up or down, and twisting and turning all around. It's really good, yeah. We're working off all the calories from yesterday of all those cookies. We're going back towards the old village. Okay, can you wait one sec? Yeah, you got a breath? This is pretty up here. There's a Ferris wheel over there in a the distance. Oh, is it really? The Knie Circus is over there. And they started here in Switzerland, actually. It's a Swiss circus. At least I think it is. Somebody said that, so hopefully they were right. I don't know if this is normal and they always have flowers at all their fountains, but it's really, really pretty. They're all decorated. I don't know if it's like a festival of flowers or maybe it's just something they do here. Switzerland's known though for all these beautiful flowers. They have them everywhere. Chloe, why did you smell bubble gum earlier? I said I smelled bubble gum somewhere. I thought it was like on the ground. But actually, this is where they teleport chewing gum and different stuff. They teleport it? Yeah. <laughs> Not teleport. They deliver, deliver it. it. I think we have the chocolate factory to ourselves today because the parking lot was pretty much more or less empty. Let's go see. Is it cool? Ooh, let's see. I'm so excited. How can you not get excited about chocolate? 
this is just beautiful. Are you a piece of chocolate, Chloe? Hey, what's that? to do upstairs. You plug your nose, you swallow, which blocks your ears, I guess, and then you bite, so. Oh, so you're supposed to breathe in and exhale. And apparently, then you smell and taste the chocolate. This one's really good. They even have a chocolate fountain. You can dip your fruit in it. I'm trying to make an apple, a dried apple. It's different. So right now we are about to go visit this little castle here. Or should I say a big castle? So to come visit the castle is about 30 bucks for a family and the uh, Frey Chocolate Factory as well is about 30 bucks. So just so you know pricing when you go to these places. Here we go, into the old castle. So this castle dates back to the 1200s, right? Girls, do you remember? I think it said the 1200s. We've got these audio guides, so we're gonna find out. Angelique, what are you? Did you win? First place. going to a very important castle and the reason why is because it's the Habsburg castle and so for those of you who don't know Habsburg this is a, an area in Argau and Habsburg was the village where this family kind of originated right out of this house and castle and this family ended up ruling the whole entire European area basically from the kingdom of Spain Austria, Germany, Croatia, Portugal, um, Ireland, England. So every king and queen came from this family, if you can imagine, and they intermarried. So like first cousins married each other, uncles married nieces. It caused all kinds of problems because of course they had um, problems with the, the children being born, ended up being like having issues and stuff because of them being interbred. But basically they ruled all of Europe from this one family castle right here in Switzerland, which is crazy. So we're going to go see it. Here stehen sie nun vor der geschichtsträchtigen Mauer der Stammburg. Well, they ruled for 400 years, you can imagine. Quite a while.
went to St. Petersburg, Berlin, Bamberg, shows kind of like all the different areas. Basically, their family took over all of Europe. It's amazing. So all the areas here in light green is where this family ruled. All the light green areas? So like here, and some areas of South America, So literally all around the world. Yeah. So this castle is free to come into and it depends on the days you come, but it usually stays open quite late. So if you want to come here, um, like once your day's over, seen everything, this one's good to come towards the end because sometimes it closes around nine. Um, basically on the floor, it's showing like the direction of the places. And like, for example, the places they are. So for example, so let's say here, it says that they own like shop houses. And if we continue here, at the shop house and there they show that they own like California and Texas and Florida like all the Philippines to Uruguay to Chile to Bali and why is Holland, that? Oh, mm -hmm. because their kids basically it was like one big family family owning all of the European Union and then they so, extended like, into those territories because for example yeah, England. Like England went to America and then like some of them went to like South America, like the Spanish and, and English, so they all kind of... So technically that whole family ruled yeah. the world. And that's why like when World War I was around, it was all basically like cousins fighting. Like. So since 2007, the house of Habsburg still seems to exist, which is crazy. Please subscribe and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below what you're watching for.